In this video, we're going to look at a linear transformation of a random variable. So let's think about some random variable x, and then let's choose some value a that's not equal to 0, otherwise this will be a very boring problem. And let's think about b being any real number. So if x has a moment generating function, so in other words, if that expectation exists, then we can pretty easily find the moment generating function for y, where y is equal to ax plus b. And in fact, that moment generating function for y is going to be e to the bt times the moment generating function for x. And instead of having just t in here, we're going to have a times t. So let's see why that works out. So let's just start off. We know that y is equal to ax plus b, so let's start with the moment generating function for ax plus b, just using our definition of mgf. So that gives us the expected value of e to the, if we put our random variable in here, ax plus b, and then times t. And of course, as we said before, when we have e to the sum, we can split that up into a product. So we now get e to the axt times e to the bt, and then the expected value of that whole thing. Now, b and t, this have, this um, term has no x's in it, so that means that we can pull it out of the expectation. This is just a constant. So we pull that out of the expectation, and we're left with, um, inside the expectation, just e to the a times x times t. So this is how we get to this line. We just pulled e to the bt out. And now we recognize this as the MGF. So we have e to the bt times the MGF for x, and then in here we have a times t, because we need to take into account that we have both a and t in there.